Well, this is it, my new book. Uh, it's Manu's French Bistro this time. This book is more about bistro food, the, the recipes that I've created here at L'Etoile Restaurant, but um, uh, they're also recipes that you can create at home. The, the photography is just beautiful in here. Uh, it just screams yum every pages you look at, and uh, you know, you just want to cook from it, and that's what I want from a book, really. Uh, there's some definitely some classic recipes in there, some classic French, but also things that are um, invented along. Uh, and uh, there's things like uh, cassoulet and uh, cocovin, which is very classic, and also the raspberry souffle, which is beautiful. But if you want to impress your friends, it's a great book. Uh, you know, I've got a special surprise for you. I'm going to show you how to make the beetroot and goat cheese salad. It's summertime, it's hot, and all I want for lunch is a salad. And I've got a great recipe. I've got a beetroot and goat's cheese salad, which is a marriage in heaven. So basically, you've got a few types of beetroots. Um, I'm using baby beetroot. You've got the golden beetroot. Uh, you've got the baby red beetroot. You can use basically any type of beetroot, and it's beautiful. What I've got to do with the beetroot is basically uh, cook them individually, because I want to keep the golden beetroot gold, the red beetroot red. So two different pots. So basically, a little bit of vinegar in each. Also a bit of sugar. And basically, as you know, as the beetroot is sweet, you're adding a bit of sugar to the, to the beetroot, but also a bit of vinegar to uh, counterbalance the sweetness and the acidity. And then you just fill it up with water. I'm gonna actually use the beetroot raw as well as cooked uh, to give it a bit more texture to the dish. Basically, you get some beautiful thin slices of the each beetroot. Keep it in water so it doesn't discolor. And so what it does basically at the end when your salad is all ready, you've got the beautiful melting cooked beetroot of different colors, but also the crunchy of the raw beetroot and different flavors. Okay, now we're gonna um, prep the goat cheese mix. And basically, I've got some beautiful uh, goat cheese curd here, and also some cream cheese. Uh, goat cheese can be quite strong sometimes, so the, uh, the cream cheese is gonna make it light. So you've got, I've got 200 grams of goat cheese and 175 of uh, curd here. Mix them together to a beautiful smooth paste. A zest of one lemon. Chive is beautiful, it gives it a beautiful uh, onion flavor. And again, just give it a good mix. All I do now is put the cheese in a piping bag for presentation. Set that in the fridge and wait for the beetroot to be cooked. So here we go, I think those babies are cooked. All you have to do is put the knife through and if it goes through, without resistance, it's cooked. So of the stoves. Okay, so all I've done is I kept the cooking liquor to be able to uh, keep the uh, beetroot in, in it so they don't lose their color. S scrape the skin of the beetroot. So after your beetroot are peeled, all you have to do is cut different shapes and keep them in a cooking liquor so you keep the vibrant color of each beetroot. Let's put that salad together. Get the cheese, which is nice and set. I'm gonna cut piping bag open to make a hole about two centimeters wide. And basically what I'm gonna do is pipe it in the middle of the plate. Then all you have to do is play with the decoration and so here we've got the purple one now the golden ones it already looks good and then we've got those the raw one that we've cut earlier on different shapes as well different texture different flavors time as well which i love you know look those beautiful flowers really nice i'm just gonna add a bit just for extra flavors Bit of cracked pepper. I think goat cheese and black pepper goes very well together. 
And I've got a bit of uh, macro mix here. Squeeze a bit of lemon, olive oil, and all you have to do is put a few leaves over the top. And that, kids, is a beautiful, perfect salad for summer.